Alright guys, I'm doing a juicy giveaway, all you're gonna have to do is smash the like button, comment on your name, and subscribe to my channel, and let's get right into today's video. Alright guys, and welcome back to a brand new RSPS video on the RuneScape original channel. Today we are on Arcus, a custom RSPS that has been absolutely killing it with a ton of juicy content, a custom built home area, and so much more. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a juicy server tour of everything they have, showcasing to you guys all the juicy custom armor pieces that they contain, like the juicy twisted bear fire, and the light twisted bear, as well as a ton more cosmetic and so much more content that being said boys let's not waste any more time and let's get right into today's epic video first things first is a juicy custom home area tour and so of course as you guys can see we are in the center of the bank right here you're going to find the bank as well as you're going to find the player and shops also in this grand exchange you can view all the stores manage your own store and just do so much more in this area of course you can have a look at all the shops search for items and search for players as well as edit your own shop you're also going to find out that there are all your key point stores right here like your boss point store, your trivia store, your donator store, and even your vote store. All of that's right here, in addition to, of course, your prestige store as well, which is also going to feature some really good items. North of that is what I like to call the PvP area, where you can refuel using the ornament pull rejuvenation, check out any of the chest keys that you have, and change your altar. You're also going to find your emblem trader, and you can actually buy different sets here, like the melee main set, range main, and mage mail, as well as a ton of other ones. Within the same home area, you're going to find a shop location, and I really really like how this is a unique spot to the typical general store area. This is completely different and features all of your stores in one really nice area. It actually looks very clean and it's what makes really Arcus so much more different than any other RSPS with their unique capabilities and the owner just taking a lot of the community feedback. This server is definitely ranking to number one on the RSPS top list. You're also going to see a juicy looking tree right here. This is the overlord tree and you can actually go ahead and woodcut it as you AFK. Now keep in mind there's a lot more content that is within the home area that I'm not showcasing. Like as you guys can see, you got the Wilderness Slayer. You can get a solo task or a duo task. They have a complete other area right as you cross the bridge right there. They actually have a lava cave as you can see, which brings you right to this lava area where you can attack these lava giants and just loads of other content that is located within this home area. And now before I jump into some of my most favorite things, like of course the teleports and all the really cool content that takes place outside their home area, I want to go ahead and actually show you guys some the really cool features that they actually have and as you guys can see in their quest tab you're going to start off by looking at some of your key things like your combat level your total level and your total xp but then you get into some of the interesting things like the completed quests and of course they have multiple quests too right now fully custom quests and it shows you if you want to go to their location you got to click on the blue emblem and as you guys can see here at the very bottom recipe for disaster and nomads requiem now of course they also have the achievements that have, are completed and of course they are ranked by easy medium hard and elite Basically, they are color-coded as well, so you have gold, orange, and black. But for every single achievement that you actually complete, you will get a juicy reward for it, and it's definitely a good way of going ahead and completing as many achievements as possible. Then, they also have the master achievements, which as you guys can see right here, are just a tier higher. They're a lot more complicated, but the reward is also significantly greater, and they have that for different things like, you know, mini games, PvPing, PvMing, all of that stuff, skilling, and then of course, they have your miscellaneous, like Daily Voter, Boss, the Elite Knight, and so many others. And again, the reward here is quite good. Like, for example, if you kill $100 kills, you're going to get a superior combat box and then 10 hundred mil notes, which are, again, insane. And last but not least, in this tab is going to be your collections log. They have a massive collections log, which is your bosses, your raids, clues, minigames, and even your other things. And in other, you're going to have, like, your pets, your mystery boxes, and even, you, you know, you like every tier is just separate things. So, for example, your super mystery boxes, ultimate, diamond, supreme, onax, and even your skilling pets. Now, in addition to that, in your blue emblem, you're also going to find your server information, your account information, and your player statistics, as well as any slayer information that you have. Currently, we actually don't have the task. In the red emblem, you're going to find your server events, like the Well of Goodwill, the Crash Star, Evil Tree, which, as you guys can see, is this one right here, your Galvic, you know, Wildy Worm. All of the really cool things that are going on right now are going to showcase inside this tab. And last but not least, in the miscellaneous, you're going to find your quick actions, like your drop kill log, you know, your normal kill log for bosses, elections log, your daily reward that you can actually claim every single day when you log in and then your master achievements as well as if you want to lock your xp or unlock that and turn on music or turn off music this is just the beginning because in your settings tab you're also going to find all settings option and you're going to be able to play around with your gameplay interfaces change the way to basically the way you want to play it and again you can change the style alt Rinscape 600 plus which is 2010 and then if you want to play 2009 which is 500 plus basically any single thing that you want to customize guys arcus is going to have the ability for you and this is why i absolutely freaking 
love this server. We just got ourselves three mystery boxes as well, boys, that we were just given to everybody online. And this is the really cool thing with being online constantly, or even if you're if king. We got ourselves three mystery boxes. We're gonna see what we get. Again, it does show you the rare, uncommon, and common rewards. 2%, 15, and 83. Boys, spin to win. Let's see what we're gonna get. Please give me some juicy leads. I'll take the dark six staff of the dead. Okay, you know what? Narcan stream necklace. I will take that for sure. What are we gonna get in the next one, boys? We get a rune skimmy and the last one of the day, boys. What are we gonna get for the mystery box? A warrior's ring. Now for the real content. So as you guys can see, it is very easy to teleport within Arcus. You can go ahead and right click your mage book, then click on any of the teleporters and you're going to bring the teleporter interface. And I really, really, really love their teleportation interface. It is actually one of the most unique ones that I've seen within the RSPS scene. And they have a ton of things that you can actually train on for monsters like armored zombies. You know what? Let's go ahead and actually tell you there just to show you guys. This is freaking insane, boys. Their zombies are insane. Look at that, boys. They're freaking OP. They also have Bandicam, the Chaos Druids, the Chicken Pen, Demonic Gorillas, and just an absolute ton more, even the Yak Fields. For mini games, they have all the mini games that you really can imagine, guys, like Barrows, Blast Furnace, Castle Wars, New Fight, Caves, Pits, Inferno, LMS, or Last Man Standing, Nomads, Requiem. They got the raids like Great OLM, Recipe for Disaster, and just a ton of other mini games, even the zombie mini game. And of course, you can't forget Treasure's Island. They also have a ton of bosses, as you can see right here, just loads. It does tell you actually the combat level or the attack style or just a really nice information tidbit in the bottom right underneath it. If it's in the wilderness, it will go ahead and actually label that for you as well. They have a bunch of wilderness teleports as well, like the Rune Rock. Again, I really, really love how the server is set up. It's not completely custom. It's a semi-custom server and it's not completely RS. It is the perfect mix in between. And of course, they also have a ton of dungeons, as you can see right here. Like, literally, the list goes on and on and on. You will never get bored on this RSPS. And this is why I recommend that you guys join right now using the link in the description. Like here are just some of the juicy bosses that they have and you can actually right click look up any of the NPCs to see the exact drop table here. So you got the name, the quantity, and the chance. You can search the item or search for monsters. But they actually have a ton of content. Here's another one of their bosses. You guys all probably know it. Hesporia. Again, boys, look at this. This is really, really nice. The mechanics are also fully working and it doesn't get better than this. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And actually, real quick before we end off the video, we're going to be opening one of every single mystery box that we have in our bank. Let's go ahead and real quick open it right now. Let's spin to win, boys. And again, this is one of the better mystery boxes, the ultimate mystery box. You can see the loot that you can get, boys. Just absolutely bank. We just want a mystery box out of it. Okay, so now we're going to re-roll the ultimate mystery box. What are we going to get out of this one, boys? Another freaking ultimate mystery box. All right, what are we going to get now, boys? We get the Imbissal Vine Whip. Okay, let's see what we get next from the Onax mystery box. We get the Eternal Boots from the Supreme mystery box. Boys, this is so amazing. We get 51,000 mil notes. Let's go. Okay, the Raven mystery box now. What are we going to get, boys? We're going to get a Sapphire mystery box. Okay, you know what? I'll take it. Let's quickly spam click this, boys. First Sapphire mystery box, we get a Chaotic Mole. Second one, we are going to get, okay, you know what? An Elder Mole, boys. I actually need that. I'll actually take it. The Emerald mystery box now, boys. What are you going to get, boys? A juicy looking Zerite bow. And last but not least, the Diamond mystery box. We are getting two of the 1,000 mil nodes. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace.